Hey, hey there, it's Friday, December 18th. Father Taylor here with today's Friday e-blast for this weekend. First of all, Saturday, tomorrow, Saturday, one o'clock, please come bring Christmas lights. Uh, they're probably even on sale at uh, Ocean State or someplace right now, but bring Christmas lights because we're lighting up the parking lot for Christmas Eve. Uh, it would really be helpful if you have a uh, teenage kid, uh, a uh, younger kid with great responsibility and the agility of a small monkey. That'd be very helpful because we got to get up in some of those trees to help create our ambiance. Uh, I'm willing to go up in those trees. I love climbing trees. It's just that like, if I do, we may not have Christmas Eve service, if you know what I mean. Anyway, tomorrow, one to three, please come. It's gonna be cold, clear. We've already ordered the snow for our white Christmas, check. Put the lights up, check. And we have everything else ready so that on Christmas Eve, we can have an outdoor service as long as we get the weather and the COVID thing stays stable enough that we can do it. Information, okay. So before I move on to Christmas Eve, we gotta talk about this weekend. This weekend, December 20th, the church service is not at 945. It's not 945. Music begins at 920. And the service begins at 930. Why the change? Because for the first time in uh, the history of uh, the Western Hemisphere, there are going to be three churches doing the church service on Sunday, three priests, all at the same time. We're going to be in three different locations. We've got this gear all set up so that we will be hitting like live remotes from different places. So the first half of the service will include our readings and we'll have prayers of the people and our communion with the spiritual reception of St. Alphonsus. That will be happening the first part of the service. Service begins at 9.30, 9.30. Secondly, at the second part of that service will be a pageant which involves kids from each of three churches. It's fabulous. Some people have really done a lot of work. They've been hustling on this since basically end of October. Uh, so if you have kids, if you have grandkids, if you're just sitting at home and you're saying, what else can I do today? You don't want to miss this pageant. It's really going to be fabulous. Uh, but also, how cool is it that three churches in three very different locations, Bethel, Connecticut, Shelton, Connecticut, and here in downtown Terraville, three churches collaborating to put a service together. Great stuff. Music begins at 920. Service begins at 930. All that information so that all you have to do is click. It will be right there uh, on the page that Carol's put together for you. So just go to the written part of this, all the information you need. So you'll just go to our webpage. You'll click easy as pie. It is not on Zoom. It is not on Zoom. So don't just think, I'll go to my regular Zoom link. No, go read the stuff, look at the webpage. Sunday, 9.20 for music, 9.30 for the service. All right. You will also see, we're beginning to give you the information about Christmas Eve coming up. So Christmas Eve, Lord willing, we will have an outdoor celebration Christmas Eve with Christmas carols, uh, and a lit up parking lot if tomorrow, if Wednesday, if Saturday goes well, but we will have our Christmas Eve service at four o'clock. We'll park uh, in the, the overflow parking lot. You can park up at the top of the hill here behind um, uh, St. Bernard's right here. If there's not, but we're using the parking lot for gathering. We're gonna have areas designated for people to stand. We are not going to become uh, the great, um, what do they call that? Like, we're not gonna be the, the location of a COVID super spreader. So we're gonna stay spread out in our circles, but we can come, we're gonna have the place lit up. We're gonna have carols and music outdoors. It'll be cold. It'll be just like the night that Santa came, right? It'll be great. So that's Christmas Eve at four. At Christmas Eve at nine, we have another great service which has been put together and that will be there. That's you know partially live, some of it recorded but we'll have the traditional Christmas Eve service broadcast from the church at 9 p.m. The four o'clock outdoors, 9 p.m. on your Zoom link. You can, you'll, you'll get a whole link for all that. Christmas Day, 
Christmas Day, the service is at nine o'clock. It will be a combination of morning prayer and, um, uh, and we'll have some Christmas music. It's gonna be great. So uh, you can wake up, have your coffee, pour a glass of eggnog, sit by your tree and uh, be thankful to the Lord and worship the Lord with some great stuff and prayers on Christmas morning at nine o'clock. All right, uh, those are the main things I have to tell you about. Uh, we still have a bunch of folks that are uh, pledged every year that haven't sent their pledges in. It'd be really helpful to get those pledges so we can put the budget together. But uh, uh, you'll probably get a letter about that a little reminder. So tomorrow, one to three, the service for Sunday uh, is begins at 9:20 for music, 9:30 for the service. It's not on Zoom. Click the button on the website that you'll see. Uh, Christmas Eve, four o'clock outdoors, uh, nine o'clock uh, on Zoom and Facebook. Christmas Day, nine o'clock on Zoom. All right, oh, great. I hope that's all the, uh, um, Carol will probably tell me like, hey, you forgot the six of most important things. I think that's all I got for right now. So uh, God bless you. And remember, this is the great season that we're about to celebrate that for unto us, a son is born. So, so that's a, a new painting I got, the new Michael George painting that I just got. He dropped it off the other day. So God bless you. Remember to call someone. Call someone you haven't seen. Make a little bit of effort. Help somebody in their day today with all that's going on. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.